Gemini Canvas was recently released, and it looks pretty cool. It works very similarly to OpenAI's Canvas mod, but it's free for everyone. Actually, with the Gemini Advanced plan, you can get access to more powerful models. However, it is still free when using the 2.0 flash model. Ready to do some web coding together? Let's test it out. So, in order to get started, as usual, we have to write here the prompt. Okay, I'm asking Gemini to create a maze generator, it will be of course a web app, and also I'm asking it to implement an autosolver algorithm for finding the path to the exit. Make sure to select the canvas mode before sending. Okay, we are ready to submit. Let's see what it is able to do. As you can see, uh, 2.0 flash is really fast compared to other models. We have already uh, 200 lines of code and more. Okay, as you can see, uh, the first iteration has been completed. Here we have our maze. So, from here, I'm able to generate new mazes. Let's just zoom out a little bit okay from here i can handle the made side perfect here we have the start uh, the pathfinding algorithm seems to work correctly now because we are talking about web coding if we want to apply changes uh, we have basically two options first of all we can apply manual changes to the source code or instead we can ask gemini to apply some changes for us these are the two changes i'm requesting to gemini uh, basically uh, i'm asking it to create an animation for the solution and also i'm asking it to center the title which is pretty simple however let's submit this prompt as usual it will start applying the changes okay the title is now centered let's see if the solution is now okay perfect awesome also we can share this link if we click here on share canvas we are able to generate a link and if we open it in a new tab the application will appear in full screen mode now let's switch to something different in this case i'm asking gemini to create a gravity simulation uh, with a rotating shape and a bouncing ball inside this task can be very tricky as it has to handle uh, collisions gravity and so on it has already started writing code oh okay pretty interesting there are some glitches in this case it is related to the collision algorithm so we can simply iterate through gemini and ask it to fix the problem okay uh, i'm asking it to uh, revise the collision uh, algorithm i explained that the uh, ball does strange movements glitches and so on let's submit and see if this time is able to fix the problem almost there this is the prompt let's submit again hmm. it seems to be pretty similar to our previous iteration however it is still a good result considering also we are using a flash model for free this time instead i want to ask gemini to do maybe something more difficult i'd like to create a 3d scene so something with 3js and stuff like this so uh, let's write the prompt first of all okay uh, i'm asking it to create a 3d environment in which there will be a 3d shape that automatically moves uh, it has to uh, basically rotate based on the mouse position enable the canvas and let's go honestly uh, i don't think uh, it will be able uh, to generate this uh, this app at least not uh, oh okay uh, i was wrong <laughs> pretty impressive awesome honestly I thought it wouldn't be able to do this. However, yeah, <laughs> it is pretty impressive. So far, we've been using the canvas mode to write code, but it can actually be used to write documents too. And I mean, it's more interesting than it sounds. First of all, in this document, I've prepared a dataset. Now, we can use this dataset in our prompt. And because we are working in the Google workspace, everything is already synced together. As you can see, I can select drive and then select my document from here. Insert. Okay, now this document is part of the context. Now, uh, I can ask Gemini to do something with this data. Okay, this is my prompt. I'm asking Gemini to use this dataset and based on this, uh, it's has to create an essay let's see what it is capable of let's select canvas again and just submit okay as you can see here it created this document as we did in our previous examples we can reiterate and ask for changes and stuff like this however in this case uh, i will just for example apply some little change for example i want to remove some lines and now the most impressive thing is that because everything is already linked together i mean all the google services i can directly export to docs just in one click and boom here is my document ready to be share with others so with the test done in this video uh, we have seen that obviously the power of gemini flash is not comparable with more powerful coding models available on the market like for example cloud 3.7 sonnets okay but here we have a really fast and reactive canvas mod and i mean it is free for everyone and above all as usual the power of google is in the way it integrates its existing services being able to use google drive or spreadsheets as a source and export the result to google docs uh, with just one click okay uh, really makes the difference compared to other competitors and you what do you think let us know as usual in the comments.